Hi, I'm Ingyu An from KAIST. I will talk about what I have done for localizing a sound source using a reflection. Nowadays, the demands on robots to interact with humans are getting stronger. And one of the key issues is localizing a sound source for interacting with humans. In this situation, the robot has to know the position of the person to give him water. The most well-known method is the TDOA-based method. In brief, this technique finds the direction theta of a source as estimating a TDOA delta. And, and we use these directions as an input on the initial direction of an acoustic wave path of our system. Here are our ideas. In the first step, we collect the direct and indirect directions of the, the sound from a TDOA-based method, and we propagate acoustic rays to the free space considering a specular reflection. Last, we find the converged region of rays and estimate it as a source position. I'm going to show you one of the results of our work. In this scene, we tested on the indoor environment with the dynamic source. The sound source moves along with the trajectory and we put the obstacle on the left side to block the direct sounds. The estimated source positions are visualized as blue disks. Even if the sound source moves and the obstacle blocks the direct sounds, it works well. Also, it works well again on the right side. We measured distance errors by dividing the left and right side because of the obstacle. The obstacle causes the invisible source to the robot. The average error of the left side is the 1.7 meter and the right side is the 1.3 meter. The accuracy of the right side is better than the left side, but it shows that our method works well even if the sound source is invisible. Finally, reflected rays improve the localization accuracy by 40% over only using direct rays. Please come to our poster section if you have a question. Thank you.